Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mbuise Lofilagazi. They call me his royaltiness. Well, the royalties love to be served. This royalty here serves the best tea in town. What we do in this channel, we offer entertainment reporting, we do commentary, and we also review some of your favorite reality shows. Listen, I do not want to waste your time. Today, we are talking all things The Real Housewives Fun Pretoria. So in this video, I just want to, um, probably it'll be titled, who um the real villains of the real housewives fan pretoria now i want you to understand something i made some notes i believe this show is really influenced by external factors and if you really do not know the history um it is so hard for you to under to know to understand um this show you know and the direction that it, it's taking now these are the following things that i would like you to note the thing that you need to know is that none of these ladies in the show are villains then the big question is that who is the villain of the show is it the editors is it the director is it the producer okay let us find out who i believe is the real villain of this show first person that i believe is a villain is Pete Filoon. As much as he is not a full-time cast member, uh, he is a supporting cast member, I believe he is a villain and his contribution behind the scenes is causing everything that is happening right now. Okay, let me tell you something. Pete obviously at some point um, was residing at Silver Lakes, right? And he knows everyone he literally knows everyone and one thing i think that we forget is that people he did not just become an outcast in, in silver lake at some point he was big and he was also respected until everything that went down um and then i think people sort of lost respect for him and there were many allegations of him um like assault bullying and whatnot then i think at that point he then became an outcast but before that he was really respected he knows people and also people know him. Now, one of the people that I he knows is Renske's family. Probably, as a, you know, as, a, as a, someone who's a legal uh, practitioner, you know people's secrets. But when Mel came to the show, she was briefed already about Renske's life. She was briefed that, okay, this is happening in Renske's life. That is why she comes across as very egocentric because she knows people's secrets, right? And probably... Pete was able to tell Mel some of, you know, Renske's family secrets, if they do have secrets, you know. So that is why I believe Pete is the villain. I think if Mel was probably not married to Pete and she was on the show, she would be a different person because I think she was, she is really influenced. She has also come across as very vindictive, you know, in the show because I believe she is fighting her husband's battles. She was not there when, when everything happened. She has... She has her husband's side of the story and I believe, honestly, it's all, it is only fair for her to believe her husband's version of events. Now, when she comes to the show, she comes very vindictive. But I believe that the real force behind her conduct is Pete Filune. Now, when this opportunity of The Real Housewives came, now, I believe, it, yes, it's a great opportunity for Mel, but more it's a great opportunity for Pete Filoon because, first of all, the Tammy Taylor franchise will be promoted and also he will get his wife to fight his battles, represent him and uh, try to sanitize his name. Remember, it is also Pete who informed us that Renske destroyed the windows of her husband's uh, Ferrari. We did not get that from Mel. And also, um, it is also him who informed us that Rona was part of Mrs. South Africa and she lost. Now, do you understand why I believe Pete Filune is the villain in this show? And I think, honestly, Mel is not a bad, bad person. And I think, first of all, she's just taking this role of being a villain in the show. But more than anything, I believe she is influenced by her husband. Obviously, Pete is not a real housewife. He's a husband, right? So now having his wife on the show is really working for him. Now, another person who is a villain in the show is Pete's ex-wife. 
you like hold up and i'm sure if she's watching this she's like wait a minute why am i in it now why am i being involved i'm gonna withhold the name because even on the show no one has brought her name up but even though people have made reference of her but her name has not been brought up so out of respect i'm not gonna um tell you her name i believe she is a villain not directly indirectly now renske is fighting also have, because she is friends with renske lemating now i believe at this point renske is suffering because of pete's ex-wife now mel comes to the show she knows that renske was friends with pete's ex-wife that's why she is so hard um on renske not only uh, on uh, towards renske but also towards marie because marie um is 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 is, is also renske's friend but she, mel is also hard uh, towards rona because she knows that rona has been uh renske's mentee from a very young age and she's she probably knows the things that happened between pete and his ex-wife so that is why you find that mel is so opposed you know um especially towards these marie not really much of marie but mostly uh, rona and renske because they know a lot no matter what uh renske does in the show and probably she has good intentions but for to uh, to mel it is interpreted as if no you're doing this because um i'm with pete and you um you have your friends with pete's ex-wife let us talk about something that is also very important the fact that pete and his wife divorced it does not mean that everything was perfect and they decided the next day that you not let us divorce in south africa um for you to divorce there must be irretrievable breakdown of the marriage now there are many factors under irretrievable breakdown of the marriage and now renske knows what exactly transpired and let us be honest Pete's ex-wife did not ask Renske to, hey, Renske, go and represent me on the show. No, she may have not done that, but I probably, Renske has felt it in her shoulders to sort of say, you know what, when I come to the show, I'm going to represent my friend. Because at the same time, Renske has been the one who's been spilling tea uh, about Pete, not the other ladies. So that is what I'm saying here. It's just two families renske's family and pete's family i remember at some point renske had a conversation with mel and she sort of said said um well maybe what i had was wrong in silver lake i doubt um renske was wrong whatever that i think she said happened it really did happen look you know when you are friends with someone's uh wife it means that you know everything that went down it's just that at that point she felt cornered and she had to say you know what probably what i heard about pete in in silver lake is not true honestly kiki is new in the in the city so she really doesn't know anything she could not be the villain marie is definitely not a villain she was brought to probably to the show uh by her friend uh who is uh renske talana cannot be the villain in the show she has no ties with anyone so now i believe that the ladies are not the, the all the ladies are not villains it's just that people behind the scenes what are your thoughts do certainly share your thoughts in the comment section below who do you think is the villain of the real housewives fun pretoria i love you so much and stay blessed